a clue to where I am. There are lots of seats here, but no tables. Here's another hint. You can laugh here, but you're not supposed to talk. <laughs> Laughing's okay, but talking isn't. So, I better shh. Okay, now here's a final clue from Curious George. George, come on up and I'll show you how the projector works. Great clue! At this place, movies are projected onto a big screen. Okay, I'm at a place where there are lots of seats where you can laugh but not talk and where movies are projected onto a big screen. Can you guess where I am? You guessed it, a movie theater. Superwise funded by a cooperative agreement of the U.S. Department of Education and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting's Ready to Learn grant and by PBS viewers like you. Thank you. Chuck E. Cheese's, proud supporter of PBS Kids, salutes all the parents who know stepping up and getting down with their kids is a fun way to help keep them active and fit. PBS Kids, where a kid can be a kid. Sometimes the greatest adventure can start with one click. ABCMouse.com, Early Learning Academy. Proud supporter of PBS Kids and Super Y. Who's got the power, the power to read? Who answers the call for friends in need? Super Y! Super Y! He's the guy, he's Super Y! Who's got the power, the power to read? Who looks into books for the answers we need? Super Y! Super Y! And the Super Readers, we're gonna fly! With the Super Readers, adventure waits when you're with Super Y. Super Y and the Super Readers, yeah. Super Y and the Super Readers. Adventure waits when you're with Super Y. So glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Welcome to Storybook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. Hey, Pig's building something. Let's go check it out. Hi, Pig. Wyatt, look! I'm building my own sandbox. Wow, cool. Maybe I can help. Thanks, Wyatt, but I think I want to do this by myself. Oh, okay. Oh, man, Pig is busy. Hmm, maybe there's something else I can do today. <laughs> hey, Red, where are you going? Grandma and I are having a special picnic. Just the two of us. Oh, that's nice. Red's got something of her own, too. To the princesses! <laughs> <sighs> Everyone's got something to do today. Except me. This is a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the Super Readers! We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all Super Readers. Calling all Super Readers. To the book club. To the book club. To the book club. Come on, to the book club. Wyatt here. Rolling in. Princess P, at your service. 
And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we'll solve my problem. Let's go. Okay, Wyatt, state your problem. Everyone has their own thing to do today. Except for me. Everyone? Oh, my. What should I do? Good question, Wyatt. When we have a question, we look. In a book. What book should we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please. Let's read the title of this book. Muddled up fairy tales. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to my question. First, we look for super letters. And then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Oh, in this story, we need six super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Ready. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers, to, to the rescue! rescue. Super you with the power to help. Together we are the Super Readers. Why Flyers? We're ready to fly into this book. Super Readers to the rescue. It's time to fly. With the Super Readers, cause we've got a problem to solve. Super Readers, to the rescue! Super Readers, working together with powers to read. In the books we fly, to find the Super Story answer, it's Super We're in the book, Muddled Up Fairy Tales. Let's read. Why, writer? Highlight! Read with me. One day, a dragon moved to fairy tale land. Hello, fairy tale land. The three bears lived in fairy tale land. In our story, Goldilocks eats our delicious porridge. Near the bears lived a witch in a gingerbread house. In my story, Hansel and Gretel ate my gingerbread house. Near the witch lived the three little pigs. In our story, we build a stick house. And I huff and puff and blow it down. Hey, everyone in fairy tale land has their own fairy tale story. Everyone but me. That's just like my problem. Everyone has their own thing to do today, except for me. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. 
the dragon and I both want something of our own. To the dragon! Hi, dragon. We're the super readers. Howdy, super readers. I want to be in a fairy tale story, like the three little pigs. <gasps> oh, oh, can I be in your fairy tale story? Gee, dragon, we're sorry. Our story only has three pigs and a wolf. No dragons at all. <laughs> uh oh, no time to talk. The big bad wolf is coming. <gasps> oh. Yowza! Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. No way. I am going to huff, and I am going to puff, and I am going to blow this. Ah! Hey! There's no dragon in the Three Little Pig story. Look, Wolf, you can't blow the pig's house down. It's not nice. Oh, fine. If I can't blow down the Three Little Pig's house, I will just go and blow down, um, blow down the witch's house from the Hansel and Gretel story. Another house? The wolf can't blow down another house in another story. He needs to be stopped. We'll stop him after that wolf. Uh-oh. Double drats. How can we stop the wolf if we don't know which way he went? Alpha Pig to the rescue! With my amazing alphabet tools, I can find the path that will lead us to the witch's house so we can stop the wolf. We can use my alphabet map. We need to follow the A path to the D path to the G path to the witch's house. Okay, so first we need to take the A path. This is an uppercase A. Uh-oh, these letters are lowercase. Where is the lowercase A? There! There's the A. Let's follow that path. <gasps> Let's see. Here's the uppercase D on the map. But where's the lowercase D? There! There's the D! Okay, here's the uppercase G on the map. Now, where's the lowercase g? There! There's the G. Follow that G! Lickety letters! We followed the alphabet map and found the witch's house. Now we can stop the big bad wolf from blowing it down. Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. Remember to look for super letters. To the big bad wolf, let's roll! Do you see super letters? Which letters did you find? Oh, yeah. Let's put them in our super duper computer. Four more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Way to go, super readers. I am going to hop, and I am going to pop. Hansel, Gretel, is that you? Ah! Oh, big bad wolf. Why are you in my fairy tale story? Because the dragon wouldn't let me blow down the three little pigs' house in my story. So now I'm going to blow your gingerbread house down. <laughs> I am going to huff, and I am going to puff, 
and I am going to blow! You blew my gingerbread house down! How rude! I'm sorry. Now I have no house and no food. And I'm hungry. What am I going to eat? Cue the sparkles. Cue the music. Princess Presto to the rescue! With my magic spelling wand, I can spell the word food <laughs> and find some food for the witch. Huh. Wands up. Spell with me. What letter makes the sound f? Hmm. F. 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 Write an F with me. Ooh, let's write uppercase letters. Mmm, -hmm. that smells delicious. In the word food, what two letters make the oo sound? O-O! Two O's. Let's write them. One big circle. Two big circles. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. And finally, what letter makes the sound d d d? Hmm. D. D. Let's write a D. F O O D. Food. Presto. Hmm. <laughs> Spectacular spelling! We spelled food and found food for the witch. Let's take a bow. You see more super letters? Which ones? Now we need to put them in our super duper computer. computer. Two more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Right on, readers. Food, yum. Ouch! This bowl is too hot. This bowl is too cold. This bowl is just right. Hey, this is porridge. We're in the fairy tale Goldilocks and the Three Bears. <gasps> what are a wolf, a witch, and a dragon doing in my fairy tale story? <gasps> Eating my porridge! Nibble, nibble, little mouse, who is nibbling at my... Uh, porridge? I am going to hop and pop and blow this porridge down! <laughs> this is out of control! I'm calling a town meeting! Order! Order! Okay, now will someone please tell me why our fairy tales are all mixed up? Well, I was eating your porridge because I needed energy to rebuild my gingerbread house. The big bad wolf blew it down. What? Yes, you see, I blew down the gingerbread house because I couldn't blow down the three pigs' house. There was a dragon oh. in it. <gasps> Order! A dragon? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dragon. I don't have a story of my own, so I jumped right into the Three Little Pigs story. I guess I mixed everything up. <laughs> you know what you need to do, my dear dragon? You need to get yourself your own fairy tale story. Case closed. Mm -hmm. My own fairy tale story? Oh, super readers, I don't know how to get my own fairy tale story. Super wide to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story.
story and save the day. Dragon, we'll help you make up your own fairy tale. Why, Rider? Right. Once upon a time, a dragon lived in a hmm. Hey, dragon, where do you want to live in your fairy tale? Ooh, ooh, uh, someplace really big. Why, Rider? Right. Super readers, where could dragon live that is really big? Castle, ant hill, or mouse hole? Let's try castle. Which is the word castle? It starts with a C. There! There it is. Zap! Let's read. Once upon a time, a dragon lived in a castle. A castle? Yippee! Let's add one more part to your fairy tale. Why, Ryder? Right. The dragon played with his friend. Oh, hey, dragon, what kind of friend do you want in your fairy tale? Ooh, how about another animal? Okay. Why, Ryder? Right. Which word is an animal? Pretzel, drum, or unicorn? Let's try unicorn. Which word is unicorn? It starts with a U. Let's read. The dragon played with his friend, Unicorn. <gasps> Hi, Uni, old buddy, old pal. Let's read the whole fairy tale. Once upon a time, a dragon lived in a castle. The dragon played with his friend, Unicorn. Super job, super readers. We helped dragon create a fairy tale and save the day. Terrific! Unicorn, come play! <laughs> you see super letters? Which ones? R, A! R and A, oh yeah! Let's put them in our super duper computer! computer. We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. Bye, Bye Dragon. Dragon! Bye, super readers! Thank you! Why Flyers? Back to the book club. We found the super story answer with super Y. Super Duper Computer! Give us our super story answer! Read the letters with me. C R E a T E. Create. The super story answer is create. But why? Because Dragon didn't have his own fairy tale like everyone else. So he had to create one. So my question is. Everyone has their own thing to do today, except for me. What should I do? And the answer is... Create! Create? I can create my own thing to do today. Let's go back to my house. Hi, Mom. Hmm, what can I create? I know. I can create a story and act it out. Hmm, about 
<gasps> Super Dragon! Super Dragon was stomping around Dragon Village. Stomp, stomp, stomp. When suddenly... Hmm, let's see. He heard a cry for help. It was Baby Dinosaur in danger. Help! Help! I'll save you, Baby Dinosaur. Bum, ba, ba, ba. Super Dragon jumped over and swooped up Baby Dinosaur and saved him. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> you like my story, Joy? <laughs> I created it myself. Uh, hip, hip, hooray! The Super Reader saved the day! Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! The Super Reader saved the day! We changed the story, we solved the problem, we went together so hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Arthur, rev up the fun with all new shows. They're here! Will Arthur's new glasses cause a spectacle? Yeah! Has D.W. met her match? She started it! Will Buster mm. crack the case of the missing butler? Aha! All this and more. All new Arthur. Ooh, what fun! Starting today on PBS Kids Go. Or watch Arthur anytime at pbskidsgo.org. Get ready. Ready? For the biggest ready. adventure of the summer. Come on. Woof, woof. The Super Y Around the World Adventure. Coming Friday, June 15th on PBS Kids. And watch Super Y anytime at pbskids.org. Super Y is funded by a cooperative agreement of the U.S. Department of Education and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting's Ready to Learn grant. And by PBS viewers like you. Thank you. Chuck E. Cheese's proud supporter of PBS Kids salutes all the parents who know giving their kids a lift, a push, a kick, a hand is a fun way to help keep them active and fit. PBS Kids, where a kid can be a kid. At abcmouse.com, we believe that learning is the greatest adventure of all. abcmouse.com, Early Learning Academy. Proud supporter of PBS Kids and Super Y. The Super Readers love to figure things out. Can you help me figure out which animal doesn't belong? We have a dog, a donkey, a tiger, and a dolphin. Which one doesn't belong? The tiger! Right! The tiger starts with the letter T. All the other animal names start with the letter D. You can play more games like this with Super Y at pbskids.org. Coming up next, all aboard the dinosaur train. To get wordy. Now here's today's double get wordy clue. What nighttime activity involves looking at words and helps children develop a lifelong love of book? Is it reading at bedtime? Yes, that's right! Reading to your child at bedtime is a great way to help your child develop a lifelong love of reading books. Get Wordy was brought to you today by PBS Ready to Learn. We're getting kids ready for school and ready for life. Maybe there's someone in your family that's no longer driving and you just don't need that extra car anymore? Donate your vehicle to Arizona Public Media. We make it easy. Call 1-888-400-AZPM. Music time with Steve Songs. Are you ready for adventure? That's a good thing. Here's a clue to where I am. 
There are lots of seats here, but no tables. Here's another hint. You can laugh here, but you're not supposed to talk. <laughs> Laughing's okay, but talking isn't. So, I'd better shh. Okay, now here's a final clue from Curious George. George, come on up and I'll show you how the projector works. Great clue! At this place, movies are projected onto a big screen. Okay, I'm at a place where there are lots of seats where you can laugh but not talk. And where movies are projected onto a big screen. Can you guess where I am? You guessed it, a movie theater. Superwise funded by a cooperative agreement of the U.S. Department of Education and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting's Ready to Learn grant. And by PBS viewers like you. Thank you. Chuck E. Cheese's, proud supporter of PBS Kids, salutes all the parents who know stepping up and getting down with their kids is a fun way to help keep them active and fit. PBS Kids, where a kid can be a kid. Sometimes the greatest adventure can start with one click. ABCMouse.com, Early Learning Academy. Proud supporter of PBS Kids and Super Y. Who's got the power, the power to read? Who answers the call for friends in need? Super Y! Super Y! He's the guy, he's Super Y! Who's got the power, the power to read? Who looks into books for the answers we need? Super Y! Super Y! And the Super With the Super Readers, adventure waits when you're with Super Y. Super Y and the Super Readers, yeah. Super Y and the Super Readers. Adventure waits when you're with So glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Welcome to Storybook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. Hey, Pig's building something. Let's go check it out. Wyatt, look! I'm building my own sandbox. Wow, cool. Maybe I can help. Thanks, Wyatt, but I think I want to do this by myself. Oh, okay. Oh, man, Pig is busy. Hmm, maybe there's something else I can do today. <laughs> hey, Red, where are you going? Grandma and I are having a special picnic. Just the two of us. Oh, that's nice. Red's got something of her own, too. To the princesses! <laughs> <sighs> Everyone's got something to do today. Except me. This is a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the Super Readers! We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all Super Readers. Calling all Super Readers. To the book club. To the book club. To the book club. Come on, to the book club. Wyatt here. SP at your service. 
And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we'll solve my problem. Let's go. Okay, Wyatt, state your problem. Everyone has their own thing to do today. Except for me. Everyone? Oh, my. What should I do? Good question, Wyatt. When we have a question, we look... In, in a, a book. book! What book should we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Let's read the title of this book. Muddled Up Fairy Tales. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to my question. First, we look for super letters. And then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Oh, in this story, we need six super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Ready. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers, to, to the rescue! rescue. Super you with the power to help. Together we are the Super Readers. Y Flyers. We're ready to fly into this book. Super Readers to the rescue. It's time to fly with the Super Readers. Cause we've got a problem to solve. Super Readers to the rescue. Super Readers working together with powers to read. In the books we fly to find the super story. Book, muddled up fairy tales. Let's read. Why, writer? Highlight. Read with me. One day, a dragon moved to fairy tale land.